If your organization allows you to use a phone call and PIN to prove your identity when signing into the portal, and you have already set up your PIN, you will see phone and the last four digits of the number associated with your account in the list of options to prove your identity when signing in. The phone call may be available as the first challenge or as the second challenge, depending on your organization's requirements. When you select phone as your authentication method, the system will generate a phone call to the number associated with your office or home number on your profile. Remember that it may be the same as your mobile number. When prompted, use the phone keypad to enter your PIN, followed by the pound or hash key. If this was your first challenge, you may need to use a second method to prove your identity to finish signing in. You won't see your phone number as an option for the second challenge if that is how you proved your identity for the first challenge. If you see phone in your list of challenge options, but the last four numbers don't match your number, you may have made a mistake on your username or in meeting the first challenge. If you have made a mistake for one of the challenges, you may continue to the next challenge or be redirected. You can select Start Over. If the phone pin was your second challenge and you have successfully proved your identity for both challenges, you will be signed into your portal.